Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates, but this could be anywhere, you know, at any time, okay? The timing is fluid. What do we have for today? What kind of message do I need to deliver? What's coming? What's coming? Yeah. So we got the Nine of Wands. This is somebody that is facing some really big life challenges. Life is very challenging right now and it's hard. It's hard to face these challenges. Somebody is trying to find all the strength within them, you know, to face these. It's difficult. It's definitely a difficult time. It's it's with, you know, facing these challenges with all the strength that you can muster, right? That's what it is. It's very challenging time. It feels like you're up against the world. The Hierophant reversed. The Hierophant reverse is poor counsel. Somebody's having a hard time doing the right thing due to society under a lot of social pressure. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. We have one person or both that is not very spiritual. Somebody is uh, in a feeling disgraced under a lot of social pressure. Probably making poor choices based on their ego. Because what is the opposite of the Hierophant? Oh, I'd call that the devil. So we're having somebody that is having a really hard time doing the right thing due to society under a lot of social pressure to prove themselves to be somebody that they probably are not. And then we have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. And it's really challenging to do deal with this. Staying in the relationship. Staying in the commitment. Staying in this situation because of social pressure. Eight of Wands reversed. So there's feeling guilty. This is jealousy. Um, bad news or no communication. Lack of communication. Blocked, blocking spirituality, blocking movement, blocking success. Seriously. Oh, here we go. Now we got the devil. Look at that. Ha! Interesting. Devil versus God, really. It's like that angel on your shoulder versus the devil. Anyway, somebody is, is tied to their ego. They're tied seriously. We have ego and pride that is getting in the way. Okay, we have somebody here that is tied to a toxic, unhealthy situation. Maybe obsessed. Obsessed. Hmm. Things could be getting worse. We could have somebody whose situation is getting worse. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. They could be getting angry. This is a, a being a slave, being a slave to ego, being a slave to something that is unhealthy. We could have some addictions here. Somebody is dealing with a very unhealthy situation. Very unhealthy. Things are not going in the right direction. They are going in the wrong direction. It looks like they're going down. Okay, it looks like they're going down. It really, really does. This person is under huge social pressure. Being controlled by their demons. This is demons, right? Being controlled by their demons. They may have probably have made a poor choice. Definitely have made a poor choice based on greed, based on lust, based on um, instant gratification. King of Swords reversed. This is lack of clarity. This is abuse. There's somebody here that is hard and uncaring. They are abusive. 
It could be abusing drugs or abusing another person. There could definitely be some abuse here. We And it could be mental abuse. It could be physical abuse. It could be domination of some sort. Somebody is being, there's some sort of abuse here. Mental abuse or physical, whatever. Somebody is being treated like a slave or they're in, they're trapped in a situation. They could be a slave to addiction even. Seven of Swords getting caught. Woo! Love it. Somebody is about to get caught. Somebody is. They they are. They don't even see it either. Somebody is about to get caught. They've been lying. They've been doing something probably that is against the law. That's what I think this is. And they're about to get caught. They're definitely going to be caught off guard. Wow. Wow. We have this person who really doesn't care who they hurt, doesn't care as long as they win. Their ego is in complete control. Complete. Not spiritual at all. Probably in a relationship. They could be cheating. Okay, they're in a relationship. They're in a commitment. They're cheating. Because this is cheating. Lying, thieving, betrayal, hiding things. But getting caught, somebody's about to get caught. Maybe, you know, they definitely could have been cheating. Instant gratification. Ooh. There's, there's somebody that is uh, looking for love. This is a romantic. Somebody that is very, very charming. Looking for love. Three of Wands reversed. Didn't think they were going to get caught. Were not prepared. We have somebody here that wasn't prepared. They didn't, they, they didn't have, they didn't see. There was a lack of foresight, right? There was a lack of seeing. Somebody may have gotten themselves into a relationship. It was all love bombing, right? It was, the, it was, it was a love bomber, right? This person was full of love. But they really didn't let it out because he's still holding on to the dove. He didn't let it go. It's like this person may have said all the right things, but really, it really didn't go anywhere. They got themselves into a relationship or a commitment or something. But this person had no intentions of getting married or something like that or whatever the case. Or they were of no intentions of being true. Two of Swords. Now this is pretending. Pretending. Somebody was pretending. They were blocking their emotions. They were they were speaking them. They were speaking, but they weren't true. They weren't telling the truth. We definitely have somebody here that wasn't telling the truth. They weren't being honest. They had some sort of sort of loyalty to another person, but they were probably in a some sort of false commitment with somebody else. Hiding the truth, blocking the emotions. Having a hard time choosing, stuck in the middle, unable. So we definitely have somebody here that was unable to see the truth, even though they knew the truth. There's definitely some blocking going on here too, because we got blocking here and blocking here. So somebody's been blocking the truth, ignoring the truth, trying to pretend that everything is all good. This is great. It's great. It's not. Looks good. To society. But things ain't good. So we have somebody here that has been in denial, right? They've been in denial. They've been going through an abuse. They've been in an abusive situation. This is abuse. It really is. Toxic, unhealthy um, commitment of some sort. 
wasted a lot of time too somebody has wasted time trying to pretend that this was love trying to pretend seriously that this was love meanwhile somebody's been cheating or wanting to now there's a such thing as called emotional cheating emotional cheating is when you're in a commitment but you're conversing with somebody in with the intent you know to engage them in a romantic relationship if yours doesn't work out there's definitely some sort of deception going on within a relationship somebody's not telling the truth and they are about to get caught they could have been sexting because this is message sexting, you know. That isn't that funny that I said that emotional cheating. That would be sexting. Oh, we're not doing anything wrong. Ha! Huh. The eyes of a higher power you are. You aren't being true. So anyway, we do have um, a relationship that is not on the same page. There's been an element of denial, avoiding the truth, because it looks good on to the outside world. But it's very, very unhealthy, and somebody is very tempted, or they have, you know, went even further than the temptation, you know, they've actually, whatever, because they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. So anyway, I feel like there's been some cheating going on and we have one person here that knows it but has been denying it. And things are about to change. This is destiny. This is karma. This is the wheel of life. It's the wheel of fortune. Everything changes. Life is always changing. There's about to be a change. Somebody may get some karma. They may get some karma. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Here we go. This is your challenge. Challenge to get away. It's not easy. You have to go through a lot. You have to go through this big old maze and, and get out of it. It's not going to be easy. So somebody is having a hard time getting out of a situation that they got themselves into based on ego, based on social pressure, and they are stuck. And It's not going to be easy to get out of it, but they're going to have to find their strength and the determination to fight their way out. Take ownership for their poor judgment and get the hell out of there. So somebody's definitely facing a challenge of accepting the truth of what they know. And it's time to um, express their feelings. Stop wasting time and get the hell out. So that's what's going on here. We have somebody here that has been struggling to escape, right? They've been in tr troubling to escape a unhealthy situation because of fear. Um... Because of society, because of social pressure, they've been struggling to escape. But it's it's eating them. I feel like it's eating them alive. It's getting worse. The feelings are getting worse. It's getting worse. The stress is getting worse. It's gotten to the point where I can't live like this anymore. I have to go. It's time for me to go and I'm going to escape. So somebody's like planning their escape. That's what I see. Somebody is, is planning their escape. That is exactly what I see. And they've been doing it behind the scenes. So somebody is planning their escape behind the scenes. Queen of Cups reverse. This is a very emotional time. This is sad. This is a broken relationship. It's sad. There's deep sadness here. There's heartbreak. There's disappointment. Somebody is dealing with a, an individual that is um, a manipulative, revengeful, cries a lot, 
uses emotional blackmail as a tactic, is clingy, is needy, is hypersensitive. This person has shut down emotionally. They're not giving anything emotional. They did in the beginning, but they're not anymore. But they need, they need, they need, they need, they're very needy. So somebody's dealing with a very needy individual who is very, cannot master their emotions at all. This person is um, very hypersensitive. Somebody's dealing with that individual and it's like, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. This person may be getting blocked. Somebody is about to get blocked or they're about to get left behind because whoever they're dealing with is trying to escape and they may be talking to somebody behind another person's back looking for that other person you know trying to go right from one to the other because they don't there's codependency here i don't want to be alone this is codependency somebody is in a relationship just because they're so weak they can't be alone But the Nine of Wands is a card of strength. So if somebody is, 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 is trying to find their strength to be honest with themselves, even though it's really difficult, I think it's, 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 it's heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking because in the beginning there was love. In the beginning there was, but it's not there anymore. It's just not there anymore. So that's what I see. Okay. For holding on, holding on for the stability of it, right? This is stable. It's secure. I want to hold on. Yeah, it's stable. It's secure. But there's no love there. The love is gone. So somebody has been staying in a basically an unrequited love situation that they have been committed to because of codependency reasons when deep down they want L and they want somebody else. So they're looking for somebody else behind another person's back. That's what I see. They could get caught. Okay, with the Seven of Swords reversed, that is getting caught. Truth's coming out. And I do believe that somebody has been, you know... They knew the truth and they were waiting for it to be revealed. Well, here you go. Because it's cause probably coming. It probably is for the Seven of Swords reversed. This relationship is definitely not on the same page. Social pressure has got the best of these two people. I don't think either one of them is happy. But it looks good. So one more card, please. Holding on for the stability of it. Obsessed. Obsessed with, with holding on to something that is stable. Oh, the chariot. I'm out of here. Finding the mental strength to move forward. Controlling the emotions finding the self-discipline and the self-control, taking that mask off and taking a ride. So somebody's going somewhere. They're finding their mental strength to take the high road, to get in the driver's seat, to take back control of their lives. So I feel like there is uh, somebody that is going someplace. Time to go. They've been waiting for the moment they've been planning and the time it's they it's like the time has arrived the time has arrived there could be somebody that is coming to take somebody away put it that way this is a chauffeur right the ride has arrived somebody's being taken away So anyway, I feel like we have uh, a relationship that is somebody, it's like they've been trying to break free. And I think they're going to. They're going to find the mental strength to break free from this unhealthy situation that is no longer 
emotionally fulfilling. Yeah, it's sad. It is sad. So be prepared to uh, hear about somebody going someplace and leaving somebody else behind. Whether it's you and your partnership or you're making that decision to do so, somebody is headed out. They're moving. Good luck.